Hi friends and welcome back to another informative video. Today we are going to learn about the types of separators in oil and gas. We will cover what a separator is, its function and the types of separators commonly used in the oil and gas industry. By the end of this video you will gain valuable information about separators including their types and functions. But before we start the video I have a small request. If you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. Your one subscription is a great motivation for me. Let's start the video. Separators are essential equipment in oil and gas processing used to divide a mixture of fluids into its individual components, typically oil, gas and water. They work on principles such as gravity separation, momentum and centrifugal force to segregate substances based on their density and phase behavior. So, in short, separator is mechanical equipment, mechanical static equipment, which used to separate the oil, gas and water in oil gas industry. I think this explanation is enough to get some idea about separator in oil and gas. The first type is the horizontal separator. This is the most common type of separator and consists of a horizontal vessel with internal baffles. When fluids enter the vessel, they are separated based on their densities horizontal separators are widely used because of their efficiency and versatility. The second type is vertical one, I mean vertical separator. As the name suggests, these separators are oriented vertically, so basically it based on its orientation. They work similarly to horizontal separators but are preferred when space is limited, so when you have space concern you can use it. This is not only criteria for its selection, there are other criteria are also there. Yes, but their compact design, I mean orientation, makes them a great choice for smaller installations. The third type is the three-phase separator. Yes, so this type is designed to separate three different components, oil, water and gas all at the same time. It includes specialized internal components to ensure efficient separation of all three phases, making it ideal for complex processing needs. And last one is two-phase separator. These are simpler in design compared to three-phase separators and are used to separate two components such as oil and gas or oil and water. They are a cost-effective option for applications where only two phases need to be separated. Yeah, I think it gets it for this video. In a spared video, I will cover the selection of separator based on the process requirement. The aim of this video is to cover short info about separator. So see you in next video. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.